A symbol of LGBTQ history now illuminated in San Francisco as Pride Month celebrations kick off around the Bay Area. The month of June, it is a time for celebration, reflection, and pride for the LGBTQ community. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Julie Hayner. Events kicked off today, setting the tone for the entire month ahead. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us now live from San Francisco with a look at today's festivities. Jana. Well, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Mayor London Breed, and others braved these winds to come up here and see this. The beautiful pink triangle, which always marks the start of Pride season here in San Francisco. But this year, certainly, there are plenty of challenges that are threatening this celebration. The pink triangle up on Twin Peaks marked the official kickoff to San Francisco's Pride Month. So many other countries in the world that we know where it's criminal, consider a criminal act to be just because of who you love. Throughout the city Wednesday, rainbows were out, flags lining Market Street, and colorful banners brightened up buildings preparing for the return of Pride festivities. Transgender activist Honey Mahogany will serve as an official host on stage at the parade. I am super excited about Pride. I mean, this is the first time in, I think, two years that we've been able to gather together. But the pandemic and politics are threatening to make this year's Pride more complicated and conflicted than past celebrations. It feels a little bit more complicated. I feel like I can't, like, fully relax. At City Hall Wednesday, artist Anthony O'Donnell said he was conflicted about being in a gathering without a mask. He was among the artists featured in an LGBTQ exhibit at Super Supervisor Raphael Mandelman's office. Things are opening up and people are celebrating more, but there's still like a bit of a like tension in the air. O'Donnell's photo of two men kissing, he feels, is a sign of the times. There's a little bit of a tension in the kiss too, and it kind of is reflective of what's like going on, like the state of things. The emergence of monkeypox and uptick in COVID cases coming just as pride celebrations begin. I think people just have to stay safe, and if they're not vaccinated, they should wear masks just to like keep people safe around them. Suzanne Ford, interim executive director of SF Pride, says health and safety will be a top priority. We will have people testing at the event. We will have people passing out masks. We will have people passing out information as far as monkeypox and other issues. Political divisions also are threatening to cast a shadow over celebrations. On Wednesday, the San Francisco Police Officers Pride Alliance released a statement calling on SF Pride's board to reverse its decision to ban police from wearing uniforms in the Pride Parade. Mayor London Breed said last week she won't attend the parade unless the officers can march in uniform. In protest against the mayor, the Leather LGBTQ Cultural District, along with the Castro and Transgender District, said they won't attend the city's official flag-raising ceremony Thursday. There needs to be much more coming together in San Francisco. I think we have been so fraught, so politically divided lately. And the SF Pride Board is scheduled to meet next week on Wednesday. And the director says that she is really hoping that there will be continued dialogue amongst all people here in the face of so many national issues threatening the LGBTQ community. She is really hope community. She is really hoping that people can come together this month here. Mike. Pride. Pride just getting started on a windy night in San Francisco. Jana, thank you.